Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how can we change PHP file extension from URL with other file extension by using .tuxis file. Do you know .tuxis file is configuration file which has been used for web server running on the web Apache software. So if you have used Apache web server, then you can use .tuxis file. So, by using this file, we learn how to change .php file extension to .html file extension or other file extension from URL. So whole PHP file data will be load with .html file extension or other file extension. Now let's start discussing this topic. So this is our working folder and here we have two PHP file like index.php and tutorial.php. First we have open index.php file and here we have write anchor tag with ref is equal to tutorial.html and in anchor text we have write tutorial. Here we can see tutorial.html file is not found in our working directory but here we can see tutorial.php file so by using .tuxis file we will load content of tutorial.php file by using tutorial.html URL in browser. Same way, we have open tutorial.php file and here also, we have write anchor tag with ref is equal to index.html file and in anchor text, we have write home so when we have click on home, then it will redirect URL to index.html page, which is not found in our directory. But by using .tuxis file, we will open the content of index.php file in index.html URL in browser. Friends, here in browser, we have open index.php file in browser. Then on web page, we can see tutorial link on web page. So we have click on that link. So we page has redirect to tutorial.html. And here we can see page not found error on web page. For open content of tutorial.php file, when user enter tutorial.html file in browser, for this here, we have create one new file, and save this file, with .tuxis, so this way we can create .tuxis file. Under this file, First we have write rewrite engine on, this rules will check, mod rewrite extension enable in your local server. If mod rewrite extension is enable, then it will check, and in first rule, we have write rewrite rule, with index.html question mark dollar, space index.php. By using this, we can open index.php file with index.html extension in browser. And for tutorial.php file, here we have write rewrite rule with new file name tutorial.html question mark dot with tutorial.php file name. By using this rule, we can open tutorial.php file with tutorial.html extension in browser. So, friends here first we have refresh web page 
Then here we can tutorial.html file has load the content of tutorial.php file. Now we have click on home link. Then here also index.html file has load the content of index.php file. So this is first way we can change PHP file extension. Now we go to .tuxis file and see the second method for change PHP extension. So here we have comment this code. And below this, we have write, rewrite rule, with open and close bracket, and between this, we have write dot star, after bracket, we have write slash dot html extension, with dollar sign. Next we have write dollar one dot php, so this is small rule, which will open all dot php file, with dot html file extension, so we have saved this code, and check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page, after refresh of web page, here we can see index.php file extension, with index.html extension in URL. Now we have click on tutorial link. After click on link, page has redirect to tutorial.html file, which has been load the content of tutorial.php file. Now we have seen, how to get URL variable value, with new extension file, for this, we have go to index.php file. And here in anchor tag, we have write tutorial.html, question mark language variable is equal to php, and in anchor text, we have write php tutorial. So, when we have click on this link, then php tutorial has been displayed on web page. After this, we have copy this code, and paste below this code, and in this we have change language variable is equal to jkari, and in anchor text, we have write jkari tutorial. Again, we have paste above code below, and here also, we have change language variable value is equal to ajax, and in anchor text, we have write ajax tutorial, so when we have click on this link, then ajax tutorial must be display on web page. Next, we have go to tutorial.php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write, is set function, and under this, we have write dollar get language variable, if this variable value is set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar get language variable value is equal to php, if this condition true. Then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write echo statement, with text like welcome to php tutorial. Below this, we have write else if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar get language variable value is equal to jkari, if this condition true. Then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write echo statement, with text like welcome to jkari tutorial. Below this, again we have write else if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar get language variable value is equal to ajax, if this condition true.
then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write echo statement, with text like welcome to Ajax tutorial. Suppose above all condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write echo statement, with text like no tutorial found. So here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends, here first we have go to index page, and now here we can 3 URL like PHP tutorial, jQuery tutorial, and Ajax tutorial. First we have click on PHP tutorial, so here page has redirect to tutorial.html, question mark language is equal to PHP URL, and on web page we can welcome to PHP tutorial. Now we have again go to index page, and now we have click on Ajax tutorial link, and now page has redirect to tutorial.html, question mark language is equal to Ajax, and on web page we can see, welcome to Ajax tutorial. After this, we have remove question mark language variable with value from URL, now on web page, we can see no tutorial found message on web page. So, here we have seen, how we can pass variable in URL with .html extension, here we cannot not pass variable with not only HTML extension, but also we can replace .php extension, with any file extension. So, in this tutorial, we have seen two method in Tux's file, for change PHP file extension with other file extension. Next we will see other Tux's file tutorial. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box. Or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also.